Sometimes, in Word, you just want your table to stay on one page. You don't really care which page that is. Maybe you haven't finished editing, but you definitely don't want this situation where the table starts on one page and finishes on the next, and you don't want to have to keep on hitting the Enter key to make sure it stays on one page every time you change the main text. If you search on Stop Table Breaking Across Pages or something similar, the search results typically tell you to go to the Table Properties, click on the Row tab, and then uncheck the Allow Row to Break Across Pages option. However, this solution doesn't work, and if you look carefully at the option, it says Row, not Rows. Turns out the solution stops a single row from breaking across pages, but it doesn't stop all the rows of a single table from breaking across pages. It further turns out that there's no table formatting option in Word that will force a table to stay on one page. However, there is a solution, and that's what I'll show you now. The first thing to do is to make sure you are on the Home tab. Then, go to the Paragraph group and click on the Show Hide Paragraph Marks. That's the backward P symbol here. This step isn't absolutely necessary, but it helps us see what we are doing because it shows all the invisible formatting commands in the document. Next, select all the rows of the table except for the last one. I'll explain why you don't select the last one in a minute. If you have a table caption, select that too. Next, click the little arrow icon in the lower right corner of the paragraph group. This expands the paragraph formatting window. Go to the Line and Page Breaks tab and select the Keep With Next option, and OK. In our main page, we see that each line has a little black square next to it. This means that Word will keep whatever is in that line, whether it is a table row or a line of text, with the next line. That's why we don't need to select the last line of the table. These lines are just like baby ducks. The first baby duck follows the mama duck, and the second baby duck follows the first baby duck, and the third follows the second, and so on. As a result, whatever the page the last line is on, the other lines will follow. Finally, we can hide the paragraph marks again. So, applying the solution, you might not have all your ducks in a row, but at least the ducks in your table will all be on one page. 